Sometimes news headlines tend to drive investor sentiment and decisions, which really can affect what people do with their money in the stock market. WAFO 48 Sean Dowling recently sat down with Jay McGowan from the Welch Group to discuss why it's so important to have the appropriate mindset when it comes to your own portfolio. Breaking news, what investors see and hear on TV can sometimes cause them to buy or sell. But it's important to see the big picture, your own portfolio. I'm here with Jay McGowan from the Welch Group to talk about having the right investment attitude. Jay, good to see you. Good to see you, Sean. What do people need to know about this topic? Yeah, so there's tons of headlines out there right now that could cause investors to look at their portfolio and question what they're doing long term. Um, but when we meet with people, what we typically find is that you know, while people want to make a lot of money in the stock market, that's why we invest, that's why we do what we do, sure. typically people are more focused on achieving their goals and living their purpose and doing the things that they want to do. So I think going into portfolio creation with the proper mindset is going to be very important for people. Um, you really, you know, there's a lot of risks out there and, and what you really need to think about when you're building a portfolio on the front end is how much risk do you can you take on in order to achieve the rate of return you need to reach your goals. And for a lot of people, you know, especially for folks that are getting close to retirement or in retirement, sometimes that um, aversion to loss can be greater than your affinity for gain. So really kind of, you know, protecting your downside, making sure that your portfolio is built for your needs rather than and um, comparing those to like the benchmarks or the S&P 500 and all that. So um, I would tell people out there a, a word of caution, you know, avoid comparing your portfolio to the benchmarks. Now it's good to know what these benchmarks are doing because it's good to know what's going on in the overall economy, the overall world. Um, but I think really what your portfolio should do is, you know, what does your portfolio need to do to help you achieve your purpose? Which is not necessarily the same thing as what the S&P 500 or the U.S. aggregate bond market is trying to achieve. And so, um, typically when we meet with people and we talk, you know, their purpose is to, hey, I want to uh, keep pace, grow my savings and keep uh, pace with inflation. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, maintain my purchasing power over my lifetime, both now and in retirement. Um, I want to build a portfolio that, that can throw off some income. So when I stop working, I have income coming in that can support my lifestyle. And I don't want to run out of money. Right. So, the, so you, you need to have that mindset going into portfolio creation so you can build a portfolio that takes on the least amount of risk in order to obtain the objective that you're trying to achieve. Jay McGowan from the Welch Group, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. And for more ways to stay financially savvy, visit our website, waff.com.